Right, so we look at question 10. They say to us, we've got in the diagram below two circles, that's A, B, C, D. And by the way, I just noticed uh, when I started uh, reading through this question that we've got two Bs there. And I think uh, they wanted to make this one a D. So please note that if you are doing this question paper and they say we've got B, E, F, C, G that intersects at B, C, and G, right? So we've got A, C, which is parallel to B, F. So it's this line here, parallel to that line over there. It's indicated. And they say B, D intersects uh, at G, or A, C rather, and B, D intersect at G, right? That's that point there, G. And they say B, C, and E, F, G intersect at H. Now, ladies and gents, let's write, let's delve right into the question. So they say to us, complete the following reasons. They say G1 is equal to F2 plus F3. And please don't be intimidated by such diagrams. You know, I always say the more complex a geometric, uh, you know, uh, question is, um, I think the more easier it is to find, uh, you know, angles that are similar but i must admit hey, in these circles guningi 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 ya hey. <laughs> all right so g1 is equal to f2 plus f3 right so where is g1 so there's g1 over there they say it is equal to f2 plus f3 all right so can you see the reason for that you can see that is a cyclic quad right that's bgf uh, cf so that would be an exterior angle of a cyclic quad of a cyclic quad okay and the next one they want uh, bfd so bfd which means it's this angle over here right is equal to c1 so this angle there Right, so those are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Remember, we're given that uh, AC is parallel to BF. Right, so AC parallel to BF. Okay, right, now let's get into this question. All right, so they say prove that uh, BH is equal to FH. Now, Let's find BH and FH. Uh, BH would be this line here. All right, let me just change color. Okay, BH is this line here. And FH is this line over there. Now, to do that, um, I think we'd have to prove that B3 is equal to F2. Right, remember, uh, when we look at uh, an isosceles triangle, Right, we know that um, if those angles would be equal, then the sides opposite those angles should also be equal, right? So, what I'm going to do is uh, let's first look at let's first look at so we know that B3 is actually equal to F2, they're alternating angles, right? So Let's do that. Let's write it down. So I'm going to say, well, I know that B3 is actually equal to F2. Okay. Uh, is it F2 or? Yeah. So B3. No, sorry. C2, not F2. So B3 is equal to C2. And the reason for that is that they are alternating angles. Okay, and in this case, because they are equal, but we also know that B, uh, C2 is also equal to um, F2, right? These are angles on same segment. All right, so this guy here is equal to that guy there. These are angles on the same segment. Please remember in that case that they are equal. So therefore, it means that uh, 
B3 must therefore be equal to F2 and therefore a BH, is it BH, is equal to FH. All right, and these uh, angles or sides opposite equal angles okay so we've got sides that are uh, opposite equal angles in that case right and that makes a uh, triangle bfh uh, a an isosceles triangle right so we go to the next one they say we must prove that triangle bed bef so let's see where is bef all right so you know it gets a little bit confusing when there are too many lines all right so that's b e f so we're going to look at this triangle over here right um we must prove that that triangle is similar to d g f so d g f all right right let's do so ladies and gents okay so firstly okay so we look at the fact that uh, we've got a, a uh, an exterior angle angle rather uh, to the cyclic quad okay so there's our cyclic quad there okay so which means that g4 should be equal to angle e okay so g4 is equal to angle e right this is an exterior angle of a cyclic quad okay all right so um which other angle do we have there so if we look at b4 um okay as i did say that you know once there's too many lines it really sometimes gets a little bit uh, confusing so which other angles must be equal so if we took b4 okay um we know that because these are corresponding angles so b4 would firstly be equal to a right those are corresponding angles but we are ah, there we go so b4 is actually equal to a right and a is equal to angle d so b4 is equal to a these are corresponding angles And we know that angle A is equal to angle D, right? Uh, these are angles on the same segment, right? So we're looking at that other circle. Angles on same segment. And so, please, ladies and gents, all you need to do to prove two angles or two triangles similar right so what i've done is i've proven that b4 is equal to a i've proven that e is actually equal to g4 so automatically that makes f1 equal to f3 and that is because of the third angle on a triangle so therefore it means that f1 is therefore equal to f3 and we can say these are third angles on a tri on triangles right so third angle on a triangle so therefore we can now conclude that bef all right so i don't like wasting my time when it comes to this so bef is similar to triangle dgf and it's angle, angle, angle. And that is how the cookie crumbles, ladies and gents. 
All right, now let's look at the last one. So they say to us, prove that F H times B G. So where is F H? So that's F H. Okay, so let me just use a different color again. Okay, so that's F H times B G. Yeah, uh, so that's BG over there. Right, is equal to BH, so that's BH, and FC. All right, so, uh, so FC is on this guy here. Yeah, so if I look at it, it says though uh, we're looking at these two triangles, right? Ah, and in fact, okay, that makes it quite simple for us to do because we can prove similarity between those two triangles, right? So firstly, I know that uh, uh, B2 would be equal to F3, right? These are angles on the same segment. And... So we've proven these are equal and we've got vertically opposite angles. So we know that H2 is equal to H4. These are vertically opposite angles. Okay, so automatically, of course, it makes these equal, but we can also use uh, angles on the same segment. So G2 is equal to c3 right again these are angles on the same segment and so finally guys that means therefore that triangle now you need to be very careful here so that means that triangle uh, b g h g h is similar to triangle now notice I started on B on this one so that would be F uh, F C H okay right so that is angle 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 okay so now all that we need to do is just make the ratio of those tri of those angles or right, uh, of those sides so which means bg over fc fc rather is equal to gh over ch and this would be equal to uh, so gh over ch so that is bh over fh Right, and so they wanted us to prove FH, so FH is on this one, and we've got FC on this one. So we're going to take, to cross multiply between these two ratios, right? So BG times FH, or we can say FH times BG is equal to bh times fc right so there was not anything much there right in terms of uh, uh, you know just maneuvering between those two and essentially ladies and gents that's how you earn yourself 150 marks we come to the end of this question i hope that you are able to just follow on and please we've got our preparation class that is coming okay we've got those for physics uh, for mathematics uh, and if you would like to be a part of it and join us, uh, you're more than welcome. And please uh, get in touch with us. Uh, our WhatsApp number is actually on the description of this video. Otherwise, ladies and gents, I will see you guys again next time from your favorite uncle, Shop Shop.